Let's take a look at how to draw a steam and leaf diagram with the given data. These are the heights of 10 girls in centimeters. Let's first draw two lines and put in the title. Girls height. These heights are all three digit numbers. The first two digits are 16, 15 and 17. Let's put them in the left part, in order. And then let's put the last digits one by one to the right, also in order. The last digit of 167 is 7. We put it to the right of 16. For 153, we put 3 to the right of 15. For 162, we put 2 to the right of 16. Since 2 is less than 7, it should be put to the left of 7. And we treat each number this way. The last but not the least thing is to put in the key, which tells the meaning of those numbers. 15 bar 3 means a girl's height is 153 centimeters. You can pick any number in the key. That completes the stem and leaf diagram. What if we add a two-digit number 99? Since all stems have two digits, we put a leading zero for 9 and make it 09. And we put the last digit 9 next to it. So to draw a stem and leaf diagram, we make the last digit the leaf, and remaining the stem. Put all numbers in order. And remember to put in the key. Since the data is sorted after all values are put in the stem and leaf diagram, you can find median, quartiles, IQR and range. The total number is 10. So the median is the average of the 5th and 6th values. We count from top, and find 5 and 7 are the two middle values. However, you have to be very careful here. The median is not 6. It is 166 centimeters. Remember to count in the stem 16, and add in the unit, cm. This is a very common mistake. Please remember to be careful. Similarly, we can find other measures. The lower quartile is 153 centimeters. The upper quartile is 170 centimeters. The interquartile range is 17 centimeters. And the range is 23 centimeters. In a steam and leaf diagram, you can see all original data. And they are sorted. These are the advantages. However, if there is too much data, say 1 million values, the diagram will be really tedious to draw and error prone. And it is hard to read. You don't easily see the measures either. Sometimes we need to put two sets of data in the same stem and leaf diagram to compare them. In this case, we will use back to back stem and leaf. Again, these are girls' heights. Now we have eight boys' heights also. First, let's draw three lines, put the title girl's height on the right, and the title boy's height on the left. Then, we put all stems in the middle, and the leaves for all girls on the right. Notice that we add new stems 14 and 18 for boys. Now we put leaves for boys on the left. For 149, we put 9 to the left of 14. There are 162, 165 and 167 for boys. So we put 2 5 and 7 to the left of 16. However, unlike girls, they are arranged in order from right to left. So the smallest leaf 2 is put far right. 5 is in the middle. And 7 is far left. So when you read the data for boys, remember to do it from right to left. And we finish it off by doing the same for the rest of boys' data. One last important thing is to write the key. Remember to provide information for both sets. 2 bar 16 bar 5 means a boy's height is 162 centimeters and a girl's height is 165 centimeters. Now we can compare boys' and girls' heights. We can see that boys' heights have a wider range, and the median is larger than girls. In this class, we learned how to draw stem and leaf diagrams, the last digit is the leaf. The remaining is the stem. Give a title. Put stems from top down in order. Put each leaf to their corresponding stem in order. Write the key. Remember to include the stem when reading data. For back-to-back -back stem and leaf, Order the leaves on the left part from right to left.
Stem and leaf diagrams are not good for large data sets.